Well, we do have a meteor shower on Earth Day, although I have to warn you, we've got a full moon that it coincides with, so seeing these meteors might be kind of tough for your Friday morning, but give it a try. If you can find the constellation Lyra, hone it down to the bright star Vega using one of those apps on your smartphone that helps locate the stars and constellations, you're in really good shape because it will appear as though those meteors are kind of emanating from nearby that bright star of Vega. Now, you take into account that this is not usually a stellar meteor shower. We do have a few clouds in the forecast and a full moon. It's going to be tough to spot them, but at least the temperatures are going to be nice when you're out and about early in the morning trying to capture the shower. 69 degrees at midnight, 64 by 2 a.m., 4 a.m. at 60, and then we'll start actually warming back up by 6 a.m., 62 degrees. So it's the hours just before sunrise when you want to try to check that out. 92 by the afternoon for our Earth Day. Temperatures running 5 to 10 degrees warmer than normal for us. And here is a breakdown of your Friday. 75 at 10 a.m. by late morning 11, 80 degrees. 85 at noon, 1 o'clock, 86. Upper 80s to almost 90 by the time we're at 2 o'clock. And then 3 p.m., 91 for your afternoon. But again, the high still warmer than that, 92. We also have an approaching storm system. So it's going to bring some breezes back for our Friday. And then we'll get downright windy Saturday as well as Sunday. Temperatures will fall off to the 80s once again, although not as cool as we initially anticipated. 88 for our Saturday, 86 Sunday, 87 to start the work week. Then is when the low 80s will move back in Tuesday through Thursday.